inside the locker room on. Anthony and Jay inside the locker room on. Anthony and Jay in this corner. In this corner. We got in. We got in. In this corner. In this corner. We got Jay. We got Jay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Inside the locker room on Anthony and Jay 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 Inside the locker room on Inside the locker room on Bridgeport's a basketball town, and um, you know we, we reflected back in our glory days. I had the opportunity to play under um, Damon Lewis, and his father was John, the great John Lewis, that won a lot of ball games there at Harding. And we were just in, able to instill some confidence in these young men and really, you know, feel good about themselves. And once we got that, um, we started to play some good football, and we were winning some games. You have one uh, player that I've been following, I've been following guys, um, which been doing. From, from football. Can't pronounce his last name. Um, quarterback. Oh, Tyson Pumajan. Pumajan, Pum- yes. Uh, tell me about this kid because it seems like he's, you know, he, he's like all world. He does everything for you that you need him to do. Well, um, we had an opportunity to coach him for his first two years and then he moved on to a prep school. Mm-hmm. And um, he's just a big ticket quarterback. You know, as soon as we had him, we knew he was going to be a Division one type of kid. Mm-hmm. Um, great family. So um, he's doing all the right things. He's got a great GPA. Um, getting recruited by North Carolina. I believe this weekend he's at Penn State and UCLA. Still playing quarterback. Still playing quarterback. He has another year. He'll be classified, so he's going to be in high school for another year. Mm-hmm. And um, he's going to get his school paid for it. So okay, time to get. Yes. And now it's coming up this year. Uh, who's the guy this year? This year we are are led by our line. Okay. We're led by our line, and uh, we have a talented group of seniors that've been together playing charger ball for about four years and they came up to me. This is my first four year class under um, our regime here at Hardy. And um, they're a talented group and we're excited for the opportunity they have this year. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your, your coaching staff. Uh, our coaching staff is accumulated of different teachers within the, the district. Um, my head assistant coach Don Ramos. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Ramos son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, Tyrone Elliott, uh, Arte Corbett, Xavier Contreras, Jimmy Colon. Um, Pat Kerr, uh, Colin Spoon, and Mike Spencer. We have a large staff now. But they do a lot of other things besides the football thing. So when we came into the program, you know, the first part was to get these guys right in conditioning and they were able to, what else can we give them? We want to give them opportunities to go to college. And football might not always be that avenue. So we hit the education part hard. And we came up with this program called Presidential Development. Okay. And uh, we were able to, it's like a men's group for our young kids. Mm-hmm. And then it got picked up as a curriculum by the Board of Ed, which John Ramos runs, mm-hmm. which is called Rites of Passage now. Mm-hmm. And uh, we worked directly with Yale, Hero, you know, all these organizations, you know, to give these young men other opportunities outside of football. You know, because we were, uh, we were really animated about getting them to school. Okay. That's the best to go. Hey, hey, coach, you're doing everything right now. I appreciate that. Not, you know, a lot of guys take the check. Um, you know, I, I was in high school coaching for a long period of time, so, you know, we, we see guys who just take the check. And it, it's more important than that. A lot of these kids need that. It's a lot more important than just what happens between the lines in any sport. And it's definitely about development and making sure that most of them understand how to become men when they leave us out of high school. Uh, you guys are still in the Constitution State, right? Nope. And the Constitution Conference. Uh, we left that that conference. They didn't want us in there no more. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so now we move on to um, some big boy football, SCC. 
Oh, okay. So, so, FCC, yeah. Yeah. so uh, we're in Tier 2. We're excited about that opportunity. You know, we won games in the FCAC. Uh, we've won prep games. We've won SEC games before. This is nothing new to us. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you know, we were in that conference last year. But we scheduled an FCAC team. We were trying to strengthen our schedule. Mm -hmm. And um, now we have, now we're in an official football league, per se. And uh, we're excited about this opportunity. And there's more college opportunities when we play big time football like that. Mm -hmm. Tier 2 is North Havens and. Um, yep, hand and, and yep. you know Cheshire. We got that. We play, we play two tier one teams, Cheshire and North Haven. Okay. okay, and then the other tier twos. I'm not quite sure what they are, but okay. there's some um, might get across and then yeah, yeah, across and Hill House. We got Hill House. Got state, okay. you know, state champions, and we're trying to inspire to do what they did. Yeah, you know, he's doing a great job up there. I have a lot of respect for that coach, and um, we look forward. I believe it's week five. We play them. Wow. Uh, so you know that's an old rival. They come down here. You they yeah. come down here. So wow. they're they going to come to us. Yeah. That was at uh, yeah, Hardy. That's, yeah. that's a big game. Big time. Big mm -hmm. time football. Yeah, Hardy. Yeah, Hill yeah. House is doing a really good job. Football. Yeah, that's yeah. sounds good. Um, so how long have you been coaching, coach? I've been at Harding for 13 years. Um, my first job was the head wrestling coach there. Okay. And um, I was an assistant football coach for 11 years, and I took over three or four years ago. Um, as the head coach for our presidents. Mm -hmm. Quick question. You said that the mind was going to be the strength of your team. Um, teams, you know, offensively, defensively, um, are you going to, you know, pretty much try to impose your will on teams? Or are you going to... Well, we, we did very, very good at the state weightlifting competition, mm -hmm. and that's particularly because of our line. Mm -hmm. So we, we're looking to move people. We're looking to move people out of the way. Uh, one of our kids, Daniel Daly, right now is recruited by BC for, for defensive end. Mm -hmm. So he's a big time Division One kid, six five, two hundred and sixty pounds. Okay. And we, we, we ain't no secret. We're gonna run the ball. Yeah. We're gonna run the ball. Mm -hmm. And play tough, tough defense. Yeah, that's 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 solid. Yeah. Six five, two sixty. Yeah. Tough big kid. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You're only, you're only, you're only, what's the line? What's what's the weight average on the line? That's the grind. I'm gonna say two fifty all around. Two fifty. Our small our smallest um, guy. Is he's two ten right now, and that's Humberto Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. But he's my middle linebacker, and mm -hmm. he's my guard. Mm -hmm. um, but um, he's our captain, he's our leader, he's our heart. he's a tough, tough kid, mm -hmm. and he's going to pull a lot, do a lot of good things up there. Now, coach, I understand there made some changes in the uh, state tournament for football again. They uh, they're making some in basketball. I know that. I'm not sure. I think it's still um, four state champions up, 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 up there. S, M, L, and double L. Okay. Um, I, heard, left, I heard through the sorry, I heard through the breakdown and trying to move it to six. I, I don't know. Connecticut does not need six to be two. No, a sport. few years ago, it was up to eight mm -hmm. when they were doing S, S, M, M. Yeah. And, and you were doing that type of thing. And um, it's, I thought it was a little watered down. Yeah. You know, so, you know, four, I think four state championships. You know, solidifies every, everybody. I, I totally agree. They were trying to, they're trying to do that in basketball now because of the whole prep school. Trying to make, they try yeah, to because of Catholic school. Yeah, you know, try, try to make that Catholic league. Yeah, league. They're trying to make a Catholic state tournament. Yeah, which is not enough, not enough good teams in Connecticut to do that. Well, from the Catholic school's perspective, period, period, period. They're like 140. 150 high schools mm -hmm. and just not enough overall talent to try to make everybody happy. You know what I mean? Well, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to put all the Catholic schools into one division so it, 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 it kind of evens the, the, the playing field, so to speak, for the state championships. If you look uh, from the basketball perspective at all the Catholic schools, they're not even winning all the championships. So I understand your point, but I can understand why they're trying to do that. Yeah. So, Coach, how do you feel? Uh, are a lot of your kids two sport players? Yeah, we got two sport, three sport players. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're working close with you know Mr. Bagley just got the head job at Hardy. Okay. So, yeah, you know, he's a he's a legend there, and um, yeah, we encourage our players to play multiple sports. Again, our goal is school. Mm -hmm. So, the more you're, you're active, the more you're involved in Hardy sports, the more you're going to get looked at, and that's what we ultimately want. Is to get these young um, brown black brothers off the school. Absolutely. Are, are you a spring guy or a fall guy? Uh, fall and winter. You did fall and winter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now we're, we're actually concluding our spring um, practices now. We're going to play on Tuesday at um, 4 30 p.m. at Hedges, mm -hmm. and we'll have our spring game there. Right. I mean, our spring game. Yeah, spring game. 
Okay. Is there anything that the community community can do for you guys? Did I see? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, something on Twitter about you guys? Yes. Yeah, so our organization, we we came up. There's so many. The city is restricted with funds right now. We know that. Mm-hmm. So we didn't want to just say no. We we figured out how to how 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 do we get these kids the money. So our organization we came up with a, a 501c3 adversity to prosperity when our wrestling team got taught um, got cut last year mm-hmm. and we were able to raise um, twenty thousand for that program and save that mm-hmm. you know because that's a helping hand that, that a kid may be holding on to and um, reaching out to the reason he may go to school is because of that sport mm-hmm. you know I mean not saying that sports is everything but it's keeping them in school mm-hmm. and. Um, where right. we want to keep our kids in school, especially on our side of town, the East End. We're trying to yeah, really yeah, get yeah. these brothers involved. Yeah. And um, our 501c3 is called Adversity and Prosperity. And we raised 11000 and the mayor matched us. Okay. So we were able to get our kids new uniforms, um, watering stations. Mm-hmm. And people, oh, you got guys getting new stuff. You know, these are necessities. We're talking about water. Yeah. You know, this is something that they need. So we got, we got a water station. We got 45 new helmets. So, you know, taking care of the safety part, making sure our kids are healthy yeah. and have a safe environment to play at um, and be successful. So, and there's a pride in looking good. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a pride oh, yeah. Yeah. in uniform. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's something that comes with that. Yeah, the kids know swag. That's, that's, that's yeah. what they say. So, you know, you look good, play good. Mm-hmm. And um, why shouldn't you look good? You guys have been, been dominating football in, in Bridgeport for the last few years. You know, we're, we're excited about that. We're excited for our kids. So. I think they, they deserve it, and um, they've earned it. You know, one thing that we tell our kids is, um, go out there and earn it. Mm-hmm. Go out there and earn it. If you're, if you're worth that, you'll show that. Um, and, you know, we had it rough, and we always tell our kids, what makes you great in this side of town is that you don't have it. Yes. And you got to find pride within that. Mm-hmm. And we were able to find some pride within that, and our kids bought into that message and started to play some, some high-quality football. So... That's where we're at with it right now. All right. Last, last question. We, Jay and I were discussing the first pick of fantasy football. Z. Z? Z. Okay. I said that it could, it could be him. Le'Veon Solid, but Z. I, I said Le'Veon. He's a good fantasy, fantasy pick. Yeah. Zeke's going to score a lot. He, he ran off a lot of big runs that nobody was expecting last year, so I thought, you know, it, 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 that's a solid pick. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Tim scores that before the ball <laughs> Who's your football team coach? Oh man, Sam Fran. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do that. 49 fans. Yeah. How do you feel about the Kaepernick team? I was going to ask the same question. You know, when a player has that type of platform and um, does what he did and took some of the, the scrutiny that he took, you know, it's just unfortunate that he's, he's blackballed like that and couldn't get a job for a long time. And, uh, you know, I salute the brother. In, in, in his endeavors because he's you know he's still out there working and sending that message out yeah. you know and he took a lot of scrutiny for that but you know I don't think enough athletes in his you know in their place stand up and take that chance like he did and you know fortunate for it to hurt him with his fire to about it but, yeah. um, he believes in his message and he's going out there to prove it and I got a lot of respect for Captain thank you for being black for kneeling down yeah so, so uh, it's just a simple gesture as a kneeling down because you feel that there's uh, unfair things happen to people. And then uh, maybe get the verdict in Minnesota. So, another show for another day. Yeah. Uh, Coach Santiago has a three week old, man. He told me. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you. Boy. Congratulations. Happy Father's Day. Yes, sir. You may get some sleep? No. He's <laughs> up every two hours, so. And it's going to get even worse. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> Before it calms down, man. Thank you so much, Coach Santiago. Eddie Santiago, Harding High School. Uh, Adversity to Prosperity. How do people donate and get involved? There's a website, uh, adversitytoprosperity.org. You can go up there and um, there's a donate button and help us out. Help our programs out. Again, like, the school is the main thing. We also have funding for scholarships that we give out to um, not just our players, but the community. So we're trying to help, you know, the city of Bridgeport to, to get these kids some some money for school. Adversity to Prosperity, make sure you guys check that out. Uh, go on that website and donate. Hit that donate button. And Coach Santiago Harding High School, one of the role models and mentors in the Bridgeport community, man. Make sure you guys support him and everything you do. 
and uh, good luck this year for president. And we'll have you back home and get close to the football season. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. Inside the locker room, we'll be back. Inside the locker room, more. Anthony and Jay. Inside the locker room, more. Anthony and Jay. In this corner, this corner. We got in. We got in. In this corner, in this corner. We got Jay. We got Jay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay, inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay, inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay, inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay. Inside the locker room more. Inside the locker room more.